Hey, Chippy. Yeah. Get to be such a big little chicken, aren't you? No. Oh. Just settling down for a bit. Yeah, I know. I'm quite a fan of coming up here. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to watching Chickies. Now here on day 449 of the broadcast. And watching Chickies is the daily live stream featuring the lives and development of my chickens. And Violet Mays, thank you for the wholesome seal of approval. That's much appreciated. We are here with Chip, the half Onigadori and half Silky Rooster, um, or a Silkadori, as I like to call him. And Chip's just hanging out with me here for a bit, going from leg to leg, getting some cuddles. Uh, Chip actually just started to do mating dances today, I've noticed. So, you know, puberty is really starting to hit Chip strongly. Oh, and thank you, Large uh, Land Shark Fin, for the comment there. Chip is quite the lovely looking chicken. And Memento Mori, hello. Thank you for the silver award. Much appreciated. Yeah, Chip's doing mating dances. Chip's doing his little crows. So, you know, puberty kicks in for chickens, too. And Chip's tail feathers are getting so long as well. And I just got notification from uh, shipping for the new coop. So maybe by this next weekend... I'll be able to have the new coop set up, and we can transition Chippy, Dale, and Sweetheart to the new coop and see how they like it. They could experience a lot more of the outdoors than our singular coop and run currently allows, because I don't want to put Chip and Stormy in such, um, in the same sort of, um, run and, and coop, because I think it's going to be a bit too cramped, uh, when you're dealing with a couple of roosters, you don't really want to squeeze them in tightly, because that doesn't really give them any place to retreat if they have an argument. So, uh, I think it will be for the best, We'll probably have Kagome, uh, Braveheart, and Stormy in one coop, and then Chip, Dale, and Sweetheart in the other. Just kind of side by side, maybe let them go out at the same time uh, when they're going out grazing outside. Um, we'll see how they get along when they're all kind of out at once. Don't want too many chickens going in too many different directions. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe... Um, so I'm not really planning on Chip really breeding any more little chickens. The only one that, mm -hmm. like, Chip, you know, could definitely, um, you know, mate with without any sort of issues with being related to a hen would actually be Braveheart, since Braveheart's just kind of like an honorary uh, aunt of Chip's. So, um... Yeah, so I think that's gonna work. Uh, 
Um, and then if Chip ever actually ended up mating with uh, with Dale or Sweetheart, um, it's not going to result in any uh, chicks because mm -hmm. uh, none of them are going to really be, you know, coming to term as chicks. I don't think we're going to be letting them get broody to that point. Yeah, and Braveheart and Chip um, kind of developing a relationship would be quite interesting. I think they're kind of almost on the same wavelength because both of them are much quieter chickens overall. Um, it would be interesting to see what the offspring of an Ayam Samani and a Silkadori would be, but um, I'm not really planning on increasing the size of the flock at this point. Um, and I might change around the sort of composition of who's in what coop, depending on how it goes. I might even try something like, you know, um, Dale and Sweetheart with Stormy, and then, uh, Kagome and Braveheart with Chip, or maybe just, uh, you know, a, a different sort of combo. The only two that would definitely be separated would be Chip and Stormy. Oh, and thank you, Scone42. Yeah, Chip is really just progressing so much more day by day. You can see some silky feathers poking out there. The very long tail feathers here. Oh, it's okay. I was just touching your tail feathers for a second. You can still settle in for cuddles. Yeah, Chip is definitely quite relaxed up here with me. Um, a little bit worked up when I first brought him up. Uh, Chip was actually performing a few mating dances. <laughs> I think he got a little bit confused. <laughs> Maybe that was just Chip being happy. Because Chip might consider me to be his mother. But I'm certainly not a hen. I'm not a hen, Chip. Oh. There you go. But it's a very good sign for a rooster that you see them do the mating dance because that is a sign of their good breeding. Uh, roosters that don't do mating dances usually just kind of forcibly try to mate with uh, hens and that can lead to fights with the hens because, you know, they're, they're, they feel like the rooster is just kind of attacking them, jumping them on them for no reason. And uh, so, you know. It's good that Chip is going to be a little gentleman. Yeah, it might have just been Chip doing a little bit of dancing uh, as a little bit of practice to see if he can manage it well. And you did quite well there, Chippy. You'd give your dad a run for his money. Good there, little Chip. Good, good, good. It's been a good day for Kagome, Stormy, and Braveheart, who've been outdoors all today, enjoying the nice weather. As Chip's just been kind of with uh, Dale and Sweetheart all day. Yeah, but now you're here with me for a bit, right on the blanket, and you are doing so well. Oh, you are doing well. You're having a very good day today, Chip. Yeah. Love you, Chip. Sorry about the buzz. That I'll probably have to address in a minute. But I'll keep Chip here by my side. But that will stop me from streaming. So I think I'll plan for a bit of a longer stream tomorrow. 
and we'll just have the shorter one here today with our little chip whose tail feathers just keep growing day by day look how long they're getting he's gonna give kagome a run for her money so quickly I think for the Onigadori, the tail feathers do tend to be a lot longer on the uh, the males versus the females. So even though Chip's only half Onigadori, we might see some pretty wild lengths coming from Chip. So that'll be quite an interesting little sight. It will, it will. Yeah, as Chip just listens to me. Oh, well, you'll be able to go study in just a little bit. Because I'm just getting ready to wrap up because I have a few things to do myself. But, no, I'll be back tomorrow with a bit of a longer stream than today. Maybe I'll try to do a stream with uh, sweetheart Dale and Chip um, I think I'm going to wait to do an outdoor stream with them until the new coop is set up but that should be a fun stream so I'll have some thoughts about that uh, thank you to all my old friends and new uh, for turning up today oh and that's a good idea Memento Mori a yogurt stream they are always fans of yogurt, so that, that could be nice. It's been a while since I gave them some yogurt. They could quite enjoy that. I think I might go ahead and do that tomorrow. Either that or find something else as a treat for them. I was saving a little bit of um, cornbread for them because they quite like that all crumbled up. And tomorrow is day 450, so that seems like a pretty good number. So something special for tomorrow. So thank you to all my old friends and new, and I shall see you all again soon. Oh, yeah, younger chickens do get um, more specialized foods, though. At the moment, the younger chickens are about sort of adults um, aged, so they're fine with the um, adult food now. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you all again soon. Hi, when it rains, it pours. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Chippy.